Okay, quick question. What is the definition of an expert? I'll give you t two seconds. Okay, if you said someone who's really, really good at something, congratulations, you are killing it today. But expertise is a little more complicated than that. And one distinction that's important to make is between routine expertise and adaptive expertise. So when you're thinking about routine expertise, I want you to think about something like uh, typing, like, like being a typist, okay? So you can get really, really, really good at typing very, very fast, but the skill is rather narrow. So if I were to change the uh, placement of the keys on your keyboard, well, then that would result in your performance being uh, dramatically less than it would otherwise be. Um, so a typing, getting really, really good at typing is kind of this, it's a narrow and it's an automated task. Um, and so it's usually considered a, a kind of routine expertise, right? Another kind of routine expertise is say, being able to solve arithmetic problems on an abacus. So if you, if you watch people who can do this, it, it is truly astonishing how fast they can solve multi-digit, say multiplication problems. It's like faster than you can even type it in your calculator. Um, but, uh, so, so they've gotten extremely good at this. But uh, this would also be considered a kind of routine expertise because it's basically good at what it does, right? Like you can get good at this and you'll be good at solving these, these math problems with an abacus, but you, uh, this, this isn't gonna help you be a better, say, mathematician or apply math flexibly to problems that you might encounter in your life. The working definition that I want you to think about is that routine expertise means being uh, very good at performing a specific task in an automated way. So what about adaptive expertise? Well, adaptive expertise, you might wanna think about, uh, say, an engineer. So if you are an engineer that builds bridges, you go around and you just build the same bridge everywhere you go, right? No, no, that's not what you do. You build a different bridge depending on the nature of the project, the nature of the place, the materials you have, uh, the geology involved. And so what happens is that the engineer has a lot of prior knowledge that they go into a problem with. So they know something about material science, they understand something about physics and maybe geology, they know something about prototyping and testing and trial and error. And so then they go into the design process. Similarly with writing. So if you talk to people who are really good at writing, it's not a kind of automated thing. Uh, it's still a struggle. <laughs> even, even if you get better and better at writing, um, a lot of the research suggests that, that writers actually think more about what they're doing and criticize themselves or question their own choices that they make as they're writing and editing their, their, their product. Um, so it is not this kind of automa automatic skill that say a typist has. Adaptive expertise means having a set of skills that you can apply flexibly to different situations. So being very good at applying a set of skills to different situations. Now, why does this difference matter? Thinking in terms of adaptive expertise, I think can change kind of some of the discussions that we have about learning. So for instance, if you're thinking in terms of a single skill, like I'm good at math or something, or I'm good at algebra or something like this, um, that's too broad of a way of thinking about it. And adaptive expertise has a different kind of metaphor, which is kind of a toolbox of, of skills that you might have or a toolbox that you're using to apply to different situations. The second thing that I think adaptive, the idea of adaptive expertise helps us with is that it gets us to think about the kinds of situations that we're going to apply our knowledge to. So unless we're thinking about those situations, it's very hard to design instruction that's effective. And so the more that we uh, stretch the situations that students confront, the deeper that their understanding gets and the more adaptive that uh, their expertise becomes. There's a lot more to say about adaptive expertise and routine expertise and getting good at things, but this is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, if it was helpful in some way, please click the like button and otherwise I will uh, see you next time. Thanks.